Um, hi, so I'm Molly Dan. Um, I have autism. I was I was raised in Beechwood. I live with or I lived with my mom, my dad, and my younger sister, and now I currently live with my fiance. Um, I graduated from Beechwood High School in 2012. Um, so right now I am currently working at uh, the Strongsville Library as a page. And one day I read the whole book, as my dad likes to say. Um, and I have some other really exciting opportunities on the horizon that hopefully I'll get to share the next time I present. Um, and so my future goals and dreams, I really want to continue working with people who have special needs, particularly autism, um, in hopefully the capacity of my soon-to-be job, hopefully, and, um, and then working with them one-on-one -on -one as well. Next is Sean. Thank you, Molly. Hello, everyone. My name is Sean Walker. I'm 30 years old, and I was just hired by the county in July of 2017 as a Good Life Ambassador. I am the youngest of four siblings. My mother held me to the same expectations as my older siblings, and I couldn't get away with anything. I would like to talk about my education. I graduated from Euclid High School with honors and went on to graduate from college with a degree in organizational leadership at Wright State University. In my new role as a GLA, I think I will represent people with disabilities who have speech and language difficulties and mobility challenges very well. I will tell audiences that just because I use a device doesn't mean that I have a cognitive disability. I will also share how people in the community have treated me in some very unique ways. And this will educate people on how to appropriately treat people with disabilities when they are out and about. Now for the next introduction. Hello everyone, my name is Grace Black. I am 21 years old and I have Asperger's syndrome that was a formal diagnosis. I have high functioning autism. I am, I am a child of my mom who adopted me. Um, she will be speaking later tonight. And I have two, three sisters, two of which have Down syndrome. So we also patronize the upside and down. So thank you for being here. And um, I, I, um, I go to Lakeland Community College and I see there's a JB person. I went to Julie Bird School from second grade to eighth grade. So I know what great things Julie Bird has done for me. And I am currently a student at Lakeland Community College and um, I'm pursuing my degree in psychology. Um, I, I am a good life ambassador, so that's my employment. And I got here because of uh, people who supported me and always wanted me to do the, the right thing and to do things that were um, challenging, but yet were in my skill set. And my future goals and dreams would be mainly to um, help people on the spectrum or any disabled people because um, as, as a psychologist, I, I really enjoy learning, but also learning not just book knowledge, but things about other people's life and making the world a better place by finding out how we can fit everyone in and include everyone, no matter what the disability might be. And now Christian would like to introduce himself. Thank you, Grace. Um, my name is uh, Christian Barreau. I am um, 31 years old. I have cerebral palsy, and I currently live on my own in Lakewood, Ohio. Um, I have two brothers and a mother. Uh, I'm the youngest of three. Um, my educational background is I graduated from Lincoln West High School in 2006. 
and I am currently enrolled at Tri-C Community College in my first year of college. In my second semester, I am taking up a medical administrative specialist. In my employment, I also work um, besides the GLA job. I also have a full-time job. I work at a landscaping company um, called Kurtz Brothers. It's a landscaping business. I've been there for almost three years. At the end of this month, it'll be three years. I'm the lead receptionist. Um, my future goals and dreams is to continue making a difference in today's world. The way the world is going today, I think we all need to be aware and well educated on what's going on today. And that's what, that's why we are here today. So that that will be my future goals and dreams is to continue what I'm doing today. And now I'm going to hand it over to Will. Uh, thank you, Christian. Um, for, for your information, we are not Will and Grace of the television sitcom. <laughs> and, and for those of you, for those of you who thought of it, nice try. Uh, good, good evening to each and every one of you. Uh, uh, thanks for coming out in this very cold but you know, treacherous weather. Uh, very great with you. Um, um, I'm uh, William Gallup. Uh, I grew up here on the east side. Um, my family uh, in Orange Village. My family still lives there as we speak. I, I, it includes an older sister, uh, three years uh, older than me. <laughs> um, I also graduated from Orange High School back in 2005. And uh, I also, I'm 32 years old. And I have cerebral palsy, but of course, I don't let that get, get, you know prevent me from having a normal life. Um, I am also a member of the Human Rights Committee at the Rosemary Center, and and they're actually the, the reason why I became a Good Life Ambassador. They're the ones that passed on the application, and, I, and I'm here tonight because of that. Um, so that's how I got there. Uh, my future goals and dreams is to not only uh, continue to make a difference for the disabled community, but to also continue to increase as much independence for myself as I possibly can. And I am proud to say that uh, a year ago, next uh, Thursday, a week from tonight, that I, I took a huge step forward towards that goal by moving into my own place for the first time in my life. And uh, although it has its challenges sometimes, I'm really happy about that because it increases more independence and increases more freedom. Um, now for the next uh, slide. 